I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to set up guided access on your iPad. Uh, it works pretty much the same way on your iPhone, but this is the iPad I'm using because I'm filming this with my iPhone. Um, but you're going to go into General and Accessibility. And then um, at the bottom of Accessibility, you'll see Guided Access. So you're going to select that. Then you're going to go to, or this is where you toggle on Guided Access. You have the option to set passcode settings, so you can uh, set the access passcode, which I think it's already already has one. So there we go. I set it. So now it's set. Then you go back. Oops. Um, and then you go to the time limits, and you can tell it to make a sound when the time limit's coming up. And then you can. Sorry, I'm in a church building, and they're yelling at each other. Uh, and then you can uh, <laughs> tell it to tell you if time is about to end while they're playing with something. And then, um, uh, yeah, this is something that you can have settings displayed whenever you triple-click the button. But instead, you're triple-clicking the button, and it's bringing you to guided access. Let me show you how to use it. So that's how you set it up. Here's how you use it. Uh, we'll go into a game here or a, a, a app. And then if, if you want to set your guided access up to use here, you triple click this button. That was a double. Double click. Uh, triple click it. There you go. And it brings up this option to start it, cancel it, whatever. You have your options here to do um, the hardware buttons, which will let you change whether it's asleep or awake. The volume, you can turn on and off the volume buttons. So the volume buttons are off. If you do that, then they can change the volume while they're watching something. Off, they can't. Um, motions, which means if the screen turns when you rotate the, uh, the, the tablet. And then keyboard, so they can type things in or not. And then um, the touch screen will turn off the touch screen completely to where if they touch things, it won't work. So if they're playing a game, you won't do that. But if they're watching a movie or something, you don't want them to pause it on accident. That'll work for that. And then time limit. So you can set however much time, turn on the time limit, and set however much time, and it'll put up a little a little uh, notification when they've um, spent too much time uh, doing something, it'll let them know. And so what you're going to want to do is, uh, if you have young kids especially, it's really good to allow them to um, use a device while you're maybe not with them or not watching, uh, watch a movie or, or play a game, so that while they're doing that, you're able to do whatever you're doing, but know that they're not getting into something that you don't want them to get into. And so guided access is perfect for that. This isn't really available on Android devices, this kind of thing. So I recommend, this is one of the reasons. Seconds remaining. See, there you go, 29 seconds remaining. So this is one of the reasons I recommend, highly recommend using an iPhone or iPad for your younger kids is they've just got these good tools built in. Uh, Android only recently even added to where you can build a second account to protect uh, for kids to log in and have safety features where Apple's had that for a long time. And, you know, it's just um, when it comes to your kids, it's just easier to protect them. It's safer and there's more options there time for them. Time has ended. There you go. Time has expired and um, then they can't do anything else anymore until the password is put in. See, so there's the passcode um, that you have to put in and then you can tell them, oh, sorry, you're done. That's all. And take it away or you can add time or whatever you'd like to do. So. Um, that's how you set up guided access and uh, simple, easy to use, and so, so super helpful. And there's my cute kids. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please continue to check out safe.becausefamily.org. Always adding new stuff.